Hello everyone. In this uh, session, <clears throat> we'll understand how do we find a minimum spanning tree using Kruskal's algorithm. The network diagram, whatever is shown here, it is the same network diagram what we had earlier solved using Prim's algorithm. We are going to use the same uh, network and find out what is the minimum spanning tree. So, Kruskal's K R U S K A L apostrophe S algorithm. So, in this algorithm, what we will do is first we have to identify uh, distances and the arcs based on non decreasing order, means the least uh, distance will be written first. That means I will write here arc and then the corresponding distance. Again, arc and the corresponding distance, arc and the corresponding distance. Now, which is the least distance among all this? Of course, one is the least. So the arc is seven to eight. So I will write seven to eight. Distance is one. The next least distance is one to four, which is two, and also eight to nine, which is two. One to four, eight to nine, both are having a distance of two. Okay, then the next least is three. We have one to five, then we have six to seven, then we have seven to nine. One to five, six to seven, and then seven to nine. All of these are having distance three. Then <clears throat> next least distance is four, we have one to two, four to five. One to two, four to five, both are having a distance of four. Then the next least is five. We have three to four. <laughs> then we have Three to four is five, and then five to seven is also five. Nine to ten is also five. So three to four, which is five. Five to seven is also five, and then nine to ten is also five. So distances. What we did is distances arc in. Okay, five we have done. Next uh, least is two to six, two to three. So I can write two to three and two to four. And anything else with six? Yes, six to ten is also there. Then the next list is seven. Uh, we have only one, five to eight. Then the next list is eight. We have only one, four to six. Then the next list is nine. We have only one, three to six. Then finally, we have this 10, which is 4 to 7. Now we can form the tree <coughs> starting from the least distance. Means first it says 7 to 8, 1. Where it is, here it is. Let me draw like this. 
7 and 8. And it is 7 to 8 is 1. means this is done let me put a tick then one to four we can here it is one to four Four is two. Okay, we have done this. Next is eight to nine. Eight to nine is here. So I'll put a circle here. Join eight and nine. Eight to nine is also. Take it is done. Then comes one to five. Where is one to five? One to five is like this. Join nodes one and five. Okay. Then six to seven. Where is six to seven? Here it is. Now join six and seven. Six to seven is three. One to five is also three. Let me write that. This is also three. So we had done this. Then seven to nine. If I put 7 to 9, if I join this, the network will be closed. So it will not form a tree. So I should ignore that. Next comes 1 to 2. Here it is. So it is like that. Okay. This is our 2. Join 1 and 2. One to two is four. So I can put a tick for one to two. Then comes four to five. If I join this, network will be closed, so I should ignore that. Then comes three to four. Where is three? Here it is. I can draw that. Join three and four. Three to four is five. The next is five to seven. Five and seven. Yes, I can join. Five to seven is five. Then comes nine to ten. Where is ten? Here it is. Join that with nine.
9 to 10 is 5. <coughs> if I join 2 to 3, it will be closed. So I should ignore that. Then comes 2 to 4. If I join again, it will be closed. I should ignore that. 6 to 10. If I join this again, it will be closed. I should ignore that. 5 to 8. If I join these two again, it will be closed. I should ignore that. Now, moving on to the next, it is 4 to 6. If I join, it will be closed. So I need to ignore that. 3 to 6. If I put this, then also it will be closed. I should ignore that. 4 to 7. If I do this, it will again get closed. So I should ignore that. Now we may check whether all the vertices came or not. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Now we can calculate this minimum distance, uh, which will be sum of all these distances. 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5, plus 5, uh, plus 3, plus 1, plus 2, plus 5. Let us add this. 6 plus 3, 9, uh, 14, 19, 22, 23, 25, 30. It is the same solution what we got in Prim's algorithm also. Right? So this way uh, we do in Kruskal's algorithm. So basically you try to list out all the arcs with this corresponding distances in uh, increasing order or you generally call it as non-decreasing order like this. Then keep on drawing whichever is not forming a tree accordingly. You draw from the least to the highest. Whichever is going to form, yeah, whichever is going to not going to form a tree that you have to ignore. Right? So this is the way you do Kruskal's algorithm. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful, I request you to please like, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.